Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you do not know me, I am Hey It's Your Girl Aurora. That girl likes cosplay, and welcome to my channel. Yes, we're cosplay, 99 cent store hauls, costumes, makeup, and fantasy come alive. Yes, indeed, doodle. But before I begin, please don't forget to like this video, hit the bell for notifications, thumb it up, share, subscribe, all that jazz for more randomness. I have a Facebook fan page, so come and find me over there, same way it's spelled down below. And I am also on Instagram at Lady underscore Frieza, like the Dragon Ball Z character, underscore cosplays. There I upload pictures of costumes, anything really I upload there, so you might want to go follow me over there if you do have one. So, yes, 99 cents store haul, 99 cents store haul, yes I got a 99 cents store haul, woo! Yep, I was going to 99 cents store for one thing and my friend found me and we just talked and we just hung out in the 99 cents store, so we shopped together. So let's just get into what we got. The reason I went to the 99 cent store was to get liquid adhesive for my costume. You know, decorate little gems. This stuff works wonders. I had a bottle. I've glued stuff in the past. And of course, it's perfect for embellishments, wood, plastic, leather, paper, cardboard. So it's really durable for pretty much anything. So I love this stuff. And for a dollar, you can't debate it. The next thing I got that's related to that is glitter. Now, children, I know craft glitter is not cosmetic grade glitter, okay? It's not safe to put anywhere near your eyes. Now, for me, when I do my own makeup, I use a combination of craft glitter and a, some cosmetic grade glitter. That's not for, you know, it's not for everyone. It's dangerous. You should not put craft glitter anywhere near your eyes, but anywhere else I feel it's fine. That's just me. So I got me a one, two, three, four, five pack of glitter, silver, gold, green, red, and blue. I already have these two colors in different cosmetic grade glitters. I didn't have these ones. And I also make slime. So this one, good for a buck. Uh, the next boring item is I got my baby a pouch for Father's Day for his costume, and it was $2.99. Like so, Father's Day pouch, men's grooming bag, if you will. But I like it for this for one particular reason. If you do nine, er, Renaissance fairs, you can put this on a tankard strap, open it up, and there you go. You can decorate it. It has little tiny hooks on it, like so, little embellishments itself. And I just found that it's good, you know, put it on your belt and you don't have to worry about it. Your stuff is right next to you, and it's a fairly decent bag so it's really nice durable and it was cheap for $2.99 the next thing that we got that is kind of boring is I needed another cosmetic mirror because I always end up breaking mine I have one that is made of pure metal and it's very old and I am not going to use that too much so I got me a bling one with pretty uh, diamonds black and purple and it's just a plastic one it's by Chloe Alexis they always have these at the 99 cent store. And yeah, it's cute. Very shiny. Just a normal, average, everyday mirror. Let's see if I can get it opened. Because, guys, I filmed this once before and I was interrupted. So as you can see, woo! Simple little mirror. Gotta love Chloe Alexis. Uh, the next thing that I got that is kind of interesting is if you guys looked at my previous haul playlist, Go and check that out. This one is being uploaded to the haul playlist too, by the way. Um, I got a whole bunch of accessories from the 99 cent store that I feel are good quality, but I wouldn't pay the original price. Like I got three sets of rings here. They're in the medium. So one is triangle, one is a square, and one is a circle. And the original price was $6.95. I wouldn't pay that for even for three rings. But if you look at the person's hand right there, it's not meant to slip on like a normal ring like this. They're meant to stay up here. So it's a certain kind of style. They had small, medium, they didn't have a large. Made in China. It's just by brand. So, interesting, right? I found they were cute. The next ones that I got here, the original price was $7.95 for four bangles. Bangle, bangle, bangle. But the one that I like about this is I got previous ones from the 99 that had stretchies like this. So I don't usually use bangles, but I do use costume jewelry for my costumes and cosplay. And I do like these kind because they can't break so easily. Not quite like the little, 
what is it called? The fine little string that they have for other ones. So goodbye on that one. Goodbye. Uh, we got another Smoke and Mirrors palette because I love them. This one I haven't seen before. It's highly pigmented. This is called Plumberry. It's Long Wears, Smoke and Mirrors Company, like so. And if you guys know me, I love me some Smoke and Mirrors. I already took it out and I already swatched it because I was filming already for you guys. So if you see little marks on it, I apologize. That is me. So for here, we have Twilight, we have Bitten, Hung Up, Violet, Sketch, and Beauty Mark. And they are very pigmented. Like, I'll just do the white one for you guys. Like, look at how pigmented. That was from one swatch. One swipe. Let's see. Can you see it? Ooh, yeah, you can. Ooh, bright like diamond in the sky. Yes. Love smoke and mirrors. So I'm throwing out a lot of my old palettes. So I got a new one right there. Uh, if you guys know me, I love face masks. I already did another haul with one with one that was called Stella Rosa. It was a vitamin C mask. I use it. It looks good. I didn't use mine last night, so I got a lot of face demons. But they had other ones, and I like the mask so much, I decided to go back and get more. So they have a rose oil face mask. They are made by Stella Rose, or, or sorry, Stella Fiesta. There we go. I always want to say Stella Rose, but it's Stella Fiesta. Stella Fiesta, made in Korea. Rose mask. They come in a five pack for $1.99, so $2.00. Then they had another one, which I've never seen before. I can't say this word. Don't even clock me on that one. I'm not even going to try to say it. But it's Q10, and apparently this one here is to help stimulate cell growth in antioxidants. Oh, okay. But for five for a dollar, or for two dollars, you can't beat it. Can't beat it. My poor little bag or box over here, see the little yellow right here? That's my other Stella, Stella Fiesta one that I tried. And I might do on my channel, guys, a face mask haul, what I use, my favorite face masks, something like that. So, goodbye for these ones. I love these ones. These ones are actually a good brand. Uh, now to get the non-boring stuff out of the way, I wanted me some more lip gloss, or lip, not lip gloss, but chapstick. Just because I always run out of chapstick. And lo and behold, they had one for $2.99, but it comes in one, two, three, four, five, six. Was it six? Yes. Six different flavors. They're little blow pops, tasty treats, flavored lip balm. But it comes with a metal container for you to put them in. I think that that's cute. I probably won't use it, but I still think it's adorable since I always lose chapstick and I always use it up excessively. Like even right now, I've been using one from... State Farm that came with something from a street fair. But yeah, cute. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Now the next thing, next two things I got. If you guys don't know me, you see the books back there. I'm a writer. I love to write. I have books over there. I type on my computer when I can. I love writing and even my baby got me a big 400 page book that I'm writing my story in. Now, I kill pens like no other. I mean, my pen kill count, I counted, is literally in the 70s. I write so much. In the past three years since I've been off of work, I have been writing nonstop. I have written about seven books. So my pen kill count is up. So I found these ones. These are cute. These are by Sugar Rush. I've seen these before. They're scented, scratch and sniff smelling pens, I guess. Uh, let me see. Great for smelling, long-lasting, teacher-approved, and high quality. Yes. So for two, or sorry, two for a buck. You can't beat it. So one dollar, two dollar. They're pens. I just think it's cute how they smell. Uh, the next things, next three things that are the last I'm excited for because I never seen these at the 99 cent store. They had these. Now there's something called Aqua Books where it's squishy and it's like cool where you can write and it's watery for $2.99 they had one like look at this it's a little sleeve cover so if you think that if you use this book up and you can't use the, the cover anymore you're wrong it can slip right out and you can put it on other books but look at that for $2.99 woohoo it's squishy premiere it has 192 pages too and it even has a little tiny bookmark in it so Goodbye. So I got one for that one. And then I got a pineapple one. I might give one to the little one. I don't know which one I want to keep, but I love these so much. Like, oh, look at how cute that is. Like, I can just, this is like a de-stress tool. 
I can just sit here and just stem and watch it go up and down and look at all that glitter starries pretty and the last thing I was excited about from my childhood I always liked to collect erasers but my mom wasn't gonna pay enough for the cool kind of foodie erasers they weren't around in ample supply back then this time lo and behold 99 cent store had a 25 count 3d eraser set they look like walk or wacos right well, they also had animals, they had chairs and tables. I got me the food set. I've always wanted one, and for $2.99, you can't beat it. I mean, look, steam buns, sushi on a plate, ice cream. Look good. These ones do erase good. I don't tend to use them so much because I like to collect, and they're so pretty and just decorative. But when I used to teach the kids and stuff like that, I'd put them on the desk, and oh, it was so cute. So, I love it. And if your kid has difficulty with school, you could always say you want to use the special eraser, the special pen. And usually that will help them to regulate a little bit better. Especially when it comes to them wanting to do work or not wanting to do it. So, okay guys, I love you all so, so much. That there concludes my non nonsense doll haul. Please don't forget to come find me on all my social media sources. I love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, mwah, comment, rate, subscribe, hit that bell, share it up, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye, guys.